Assalamualaikum and welcome to our presentation today. My name is Putri Fadlin Sakina binti Megat Mahyudin, the Senior Accountant and Leader of Account Executive Team. I started my career in accounting field as an accountant in Maybank, Malaysia for 5 years. Today, our Account Executive Team will be presenting regarding the segmental and interim reporting of our company, Astro Malaysia Berhai. Before we start, I would like my team to introduce themselves first. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Shazwani Benzi Sohaini. My position is Chief Financial Officer. My name is Nur Hafizatul Madiha binti Muhammad Jaafar as a new Accountant Executive. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Nur Natra binti Muhammad Sohaini. I'm a member of Junior Accounting in this team. For the previous seven years, I have worked as Foreign Accountant for Petronas during my career. I have seen a lot of accounting from. I delighted to contribute my knowledge to this team and business. Now, I'll start the presentation for today with the background of our company. Testro Malaysia Holding Berhai operates in the media and entertainment industries. Consumers can get content via television, radio, over the top, and the internet. Pay TV, Enjoy, and Astro Go are some of the entertainment and lifestyle platforms offered by Astro Malaysia. Astro Holdings Renan Berhai, which also owns Astro Overseas Limited, owns the company. Moreover, half of Malaysia's TV households receive the company's 170 plus channels which are broadcast via satellite dishes and the internet. Astro offers both domestic and international programs in a variety of languages including Chinese, English, Malay and Tamil. Through his privately held company, Ushar Tegas, Ananda Krishnan, a well-known businessman, holds a majority ownership in Astro. Krishnan's businesses include telecommunication, energy, real estate, and gambling. CEO Rohana Roshan, an accountant who joined the company in 1990s, currently leads Astro. The media conglomerate is planning to develop a home shopping channel and expand its television programming to appeal to a bigger audience in Southeast Asia. Astro Malaysia Holdings Berhad is a holding company for investment, television and radio services, film library licensing, content production, aggregation and distribution, talent management, multimedia interactive services, digital, media, and home shopping services are all provided by the company. It is divided into four sections, which are television, radio, home shopping, and others. Content development, aggregation and distribution, magazine publication and distribution, and multimedia interactive services are all part of the television section. Radio is a company that provides radio broadcasting service. The Go Shop home shopping business is covered in the home shopping section. The company was created in February 14, 2012 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and it headquartered there. Let's continue to management approach. Under this approach, there are three parts to be covered. The first one, factors to consider having a segment reporting, next, types of segment, and the last one, identify the shift of decision making and its responsibility. Having three factors to consider having a segment reporting. The first one, the nature of business activity. This factor referring to ability to identify the operating segment of a company. The lower level companies contain similar activities. It may be more representative of the company's operating segment. Besides, the higher level segment information is represented by components that contain dissimilar business activities. If the chief operating decision making employs more than one set of segments, other factors can identify as creating an entity operating segment. Next, we move to the second factor, which is the existence of managers responsible for each company. An operating segment has individuals responsible for the company's results, such as segment manager, business unit CFO, and vice president that also directly accountable to maintain regular contact with the chief officer decision making to discuss the operating activities, financial results, forecasts, or plans for the segment. Are an entity's operating segment. However, a single manager may be the segment manager for more than one operating segment. If there is only one set of components for which segment managers are held responsible, that set of components constitutes this operating segments. For the last factor, I will explain about the information presented to the Board of Directors. The Board of Directors have the right to know about the company, so all the information need to be presented to them. The information provided to the company's Board of Directors may indicate the level at which the first one, overall performance is assessed, and the second one, decisions are made about resource allocation to different areas of an entity's business. The situation that we can relate with this statement is, the manager are chargeable for one kind of product worldwide, while another manager are chargeable for geographical areas. Based on this situation, 
the company should determine which set of additive constitute the running segments by connection with the core principles. Thank you, Shazwani. For the type of segment, the group is organized into business unit based on their services and has three key reportable segments based on operating segment. First, the television segment is a provider of television services including television content create, the aggregations and distribution, talent management, multimedia interaction services, and digital media. Second, the radio segment is a provider of radio broadcasting services and media sales services, third, home shopping business. The shift of decision making and its responsibility. The chief of decision making of Astro Malaysia Holding Berha is Henry Tan Poh, who is the representative of the group's chief executive officer. He has overall responsibility over the business and day to day management of Astro Malaysia Holding Berha. He is also responsible for promote organizational effectiveness and ensure the implementation of board policy strategies and decisions. Now I will pass to Natra. Thank you, Ms. Madiha. I represent the process to identify the reportable segment and non reportable segment. According to MFRSA operations, service requirement and entity shall report its information separate with regard to the operating segment only if it passes the quantity threshold test of 10% threshold test and 75% test rule. To identify the quantifications of reportable operation segment, 10% threshold test consider of three tests that are revenue basis, profit or loss basis, and total asset basis in which it must satisfy 10% or more. So, since Astro Malaysia Holding Berhad is used revenue basis and measuring its operation segment, therefore 10% test will be evaluated based on its total report revenue from sales to external customer and internal. After determine of report segment, the entity must do 75% test rules in which the total external revenue of the reportable segment must at least 75% of total external revenue of the entity. Based on the annual report, the total external and internal revenue of 1,987,300 is used to measure that 10% threshold test of the company since there are six operating segments of Astro Malaysia Holding Berhad, the 10% test has resulted in four reportable segments and two non-reportable segments. As per calculations, the, report, the reportable segment, television, radio, homes, shopping and subscription has produced 47.38%, 10.05%, 13.5%, 68% and 15.86% respectively, whereas digital media and other are in, indicate as non-reportable segment since it's a result below than 10% from the calculations of the 10% revenue basis. The 75% uh, test is conductive by divided total internal reven revenue reported segment of 1,730,000 23,200 with total revenue from all operating segments. The result of the 75% test is from Malaysia Holding Berhad 86.71%, which exceeding 75%. Therefore, the existing reportable segment, which are television, radio, home shopping, and subscription, will remain and no additions segment should be reported. As shown, the segmental reporting of Astro Berhad reconstruct reproducing four reportable segments and one non-reportable segment. Four reportable segments consist of television, radio, home shopping, and subscription, whereas the other segments are combined and disclosed as other reporting segments because it does not satisfy the 10% threshold or more. Hence, the adjustment of both, both tests is essential to produce reportable segments and non-reportable segments as well as to create the segmental report. Now I will pass to Natra. Advantages of segment reporting. The main advantage of segment reporting is transparency. For business with different category like Astro Malaysia Holding Berhad, segment reporting can reveal which category are profitable and which are drained on the total line. It prevents managers from concealing unprofitable projects if done correctly. Other than that, the ad advantage of segment reporting is improved contact. Segment reporting enables our st stakeholder to better understand the functions that can influence overall number. Astro Malaysia Holding Berhad report has much higher earn than expected. And the summary reporting show where those earn are coming from. A stakeholder may examine the same report to see if the figure are reliable. It's in intended 
to help investors in gain a deeper understanding of the business and its potential cash flow. However, there are several of disadvantage of this summary reporting. The disadvantage of summary reporting is the emphasis on present. Summary reporting can place too much of focus on short-term number. For example, a show holding bird height uh, may create a division just for its online work. His division could run a significant deficit before the right people and infrastructure are in place. It, it, if these losses are outweighed by the company's overall performance, they might not stand out on the financial statement. However, breaking out those numbers as the data point via segment reporting can lead to pursue to reduce those uh, losses to enhance uh, short-term earnings. Furthermore, data manipulation is also one of the disadvantages of summary reporting. Summary reporting leads itself to data manipulation. It is uh, information in reporting it through manager eyes staff. It gives company leads more descriptions in how it determines how, se how segments are constructed and what metrics are reported. Manager may group business businesses with different business model. It can also cherry pitch metric to send its desired message to stakeholder. For example, a strong Malaysia holding Berhad could be grouped with unrelated profit business unit to paint a better picture of performance. Thank you, Natra. Basis preparation of interim reporting. The unaudited quarterly report has been prepared in accordance with the reporting requirement as set out in MFRS 134 Interim Financial Reporting, Paragraph 922 and Appendix 9B of the Bursa Malaysia Security Berhad Main Market Listing Requirement, and should be read in conjunction with the audited financial statement for the financial year ended 31st January 2021. The operation of the group were not significantly affected by seasonal and cyclical factors. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to disrupt business environment dismantle global supply chain, including financial markets. There were no significant unusual items affecting the asset, liabilities, equity, net income, or cash flow for the financial year ended 31st January 2022, and no material changes in estimate of amounts reported in the prior financial year that have material effect. There were also no issuance, repurchase and repayment of debt and equity securities during the financial year ended 31st January 2022, other than as disclosed in this quarterly report. Now I pass to Putri. The significant accounting policies and method adopted for the unaudited condensed statement are consistent with those adopted for the audited financial statement for the financial year ended 31st January 2021. The group has not early adopted in the following accounting standard that has been issued by the Malaysian Accounting Standard Board as these are effective for the financial period beginning on or after 1st February 2021. First, amendments to MFRS contained in the document entitled Annual Improvements to MFRS Standards 2018-2020. to This is effective from 1st January 2022. Second, reference to the conceptual framework amendments to MFRS 3, it is effective from 1st January 2022. Third, property plan and equipment, it is proceed before attended use amendment to MFRS 116, it is effective from 1st January 2002. Lastly, COVID-19 related rent concession beyond 30 June 2021 amendment to MFRS 16 leases, it is effective from 1st April 2021. Under interim report, there are few types of interim report. Extra National Holding Berhad had few types of interim report. They are balance sheet, income statement, and statement of cash flows. The period of balance sheet is end of the current interim period and the immediately preceding fiscal year. Next, period for income statement are current interim period, the fiscal year today, and the corresponding periods for the immediately preceding fiscal year. Lastly, period for statement of cash, cash flows are current fiscal year today and the corresponding period for the immediately preceding fiscal year. Of the current and comparative of each statement prepared by the company Astro Holding Berhad, accounting period will end on 31st January of each year. The current and the comparative period for each statement prepared by the company, according to MFRS 134 Interim, Interim Financial Reporting, will be measured from 1st November 2021 to 31st January 2022, in which is the correspondent to the fourth quarter of the Astro Holding Berhad. In the year 2020, for the statement of financial position as SOFP at the end of the current interim reporting re period is three months for, from 1st November 2021 to 31st January 2022 and the comparative SOFP of the immediate
immediately preceding uh, financial year reporting period is 12 months from 1st February 2021 to 31st January 2022. For the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income for the SOPL and OCI for the current interim reporting period of 3 months from 1st November 2021 to 31st January 2022. The cumulative of SOPL and OCI for the current financial year reporting period is 12 months from 1st February 2021 to 31st January 2022. The comparative SOPL and OCI of the current reporting is 3 months from 1 November, 1st November 2021 to 31st January 2022. Lastly, the comparative of SOPL and OCI of immediate preceding financial year to date reporting period is 12 months from 1st February 2020 to 31st January 2021. As far as the statement of changing in equity and statement of cash flow for the both will have exactly the same reporting period and reporting date. The cumulative SOC and SOCF for the current financial reporting period is 12 months from 1st February 2021 to 31st January 2022, while the comparative SOC and SOCF immediately preceding uh, financial year to the date reporting period is also 12 months from 1st February 2020 to 31st January 2021. Thank you, Natra. For the last part of our presentation today, we have made two adjustments for the second quarter as at 30th June 2021 by using the statement of financial position as at 31st December 2021. Before the adjustment, as you guys can see here, the carrying amount for property, plan and equipment as at 31st December 2021 is 759,466,000 million four hundred and sixty six thousand ringgit and as for 31st December 2020 is about 789,910,000 million nine hundred and ten thousand ringgit. As for inventories, the cost as at 1st January 2021 and 1st January 2020 are 19 million seven hundred and eighty thousand ringgit and 12 million eight hundred thousand ringgit respectively. For the first adjustment which is adjustment for the depreciation. On 1st January 2021, Astro Malaysia Berhad's property, plan and equipment are costing 2326786000 ringgit with its accumulated depreciation as at 1st January 2020 amounting 1567320000 ringgit. The company depreciates all of its property, plan and equipment on a straight line basis over the expected useful life of 50 years of assets. On 1st March 2021, Astro Malaysia Berhad chose to sell one of its buildings with a carrying value of 630 million ringgit for a profit of 152 million ringgit. The building was initially purchased by the company at a cost of 780 ringgit. On uh, 30th June 2021, the company acquired a new building at a cost of 850 million ringgit. Therefore, the carrier amount as at 30th June 2021 is 1585,498,140 million ringgit. For the second adjustment, I will pass to Shazwani. Next, we move to the second adjustment. On 1st February 2021, Astro Malaysia Holding Merhad had an opening inventory of 12,800,000. Every year, the price of its inventories will change. On 31st October 2021, the company had inventories of 15 million ringgit, which is 10 million units at a cost of 1 ringgit 50 cent per unit. On 31st October 2021, the net realizable value of the inventories was 1 ringgit 25 cent per unit. The expected net realizable value of the inventories at 31st January 2021 is 1 ringgit 65 cent per unit. So the solution for adjustment 2 is on 31st October 2022, the value of inventories should be recognized at its net realizable value as it is low compared to the cost amounting to 12 million 500 thousand. The loss of inventories of 2,500,000 should be recognized in the statement of income. While on 31st January 2022, the value of inventories will be recognized by using the cost of 15 million ringgit. Astro Malaysia Holding Berhad should reverse the 2,500,000 inventory loss that was previously recognized in the statement of income. Lastly, for the statement of financial position extract, after adjustment, for current injury is property plan and incumbent minus accumulated depreciation will get carrying amount at 811,287,860 ringgit, while for the cooperative will get the carrying amount at 789,910,000 ringgit. The inventory amount for good call will be the same amount to 12,500,000. That's all from our presentation. Thank you.